everyone, it's me, Jamie, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to Flossmas Day 9, I think it is. Like, it's been a lot of days. I'm getting to a point where I'm starting to not remember what day it is. Anyways, I will start my update with what I worked on yesterday, and I also at the end will have a purchase because I did purchase one chart yesterday, and I really want to start it now, so we will see if I end up starting it today. Anyways, so uh, the first thing I worked on was the advent ornament from that How To Girl on Etsy. And yesterday, all I stitched was this bottom row of brown. So that's all that got done was like, how many stitches was that? Maybe five stitches in brown. So that's all I got done. So that's where the ornament is at right now. We will see what I get to end up adding today. And this is being stitched uh, two over one on a mystery fabric from my Christmas mystery box from the sewingshop.ca. And then in the car pickup line, I worked on the 12 movie nights of Christmas stitch along from Atomic Tiki Pins. And I got very, very little progress done on this yesterday because I was having one of those days where my thread just kept knotting on this project. And so I was like unknotting it like so often. And so I didn't end up getting that much done. But here it is. I finished the color 902, which is part of the car. So I finished, I did this strip down here. I did this part right here and then I started working on 3799 which is a dark gray that's used in the tires and this was the color that kept knotting up so like every time I would do a stitch it would keep getting like a knot in the back so I'd have to undo the knot and then I was trying to like s slow down my stitching to try and prevent the knot so I was trying to like hold on to the floss in the back to try and like keep it straight and smooth and then it kept knotting up so yeah, it was just not my day for that. And then I did have a comment, if I can find my project bag for this right here. I had a comment where someone asked if I was using the called for metallic. I am not using the called for metallic, so this gold here is different. I am using this metallic, which is a sulky metallic in the color 7004. And it's just one that I had from when I did Death by Cross Stitch by Long Dog Sampler. I had this metallic and I used it for the Lannister lion because I did like a Game of Thrones thing for my long dog sampler so I changed like I made a line in there for the Lannisters I did that in gold because the Lannister colors are gold and I think red so I used this and that so I just had it left over so I decided I would use it instead of the called for DMC metallic because I really dislike the DMC metallic so uh, today is a Saturday which means that there will be no car pickup stitching but I might still stitch on this anyways just for like 30 minutes or an hour just to keep getting more progress because I want this block finished hopefully soon. And then I also worked on my heaven and earth chart that I started at the beginning of the month and that is the chart Christmas 2 and here is where I got to on this chart. I have been working on this chart like the last chart of the night so I will do my ornament, I will have my car stitching, and then during the day, I will work on whatever chart gets picked from the advent. And then at nighttime, if I still have more stitching, like once my kids are in bed, because they go to bed earlier than I do, then I will stitch on this piece. So it doesn't usually get as much stitching as my other like project that I pick for the day. So I ended up getting, I think, 400 stitches done. And I worked on more of the blue to fill in this ornament. And then I also did more green at the top because I'm going to start filling in from the top going down on page one. I am stitching this on a 32 count, one over one, 10 stitch. And then yesterday, the chart that was picked in my advent calendar was the chart Yennefer, which is by Charting Creations. And she is a character from Witcher, which is a book series. It's a video game series and it's a show on Netflix. So here she is. I ended up getting almost a thousand stitches in on her yesterday. I filled in there was an area that I had done like the outline of somewhere around here. I don't even remember where it was now. I filled in that area and then I kept stitching up this way. I did a line going over and then I also did this line here because this is the part that goes like her, this is her hair and then her hair goes around her ear. So I wanted to start getting this part filled in that goes around her ear. And I'm stitching her extreme cross country by color, starting with the black. I think after I finish the black though, I will just start working on her doing all the colors and like filling her in because I don't really want to keep doing extreme cross country because I really would like to see like her face filled in. But so she is being stitched on a 28 count, two over one, 10 stitch. I don't know if I'd already said that. 
and then I will pick my advent chart for today. I need to see where it was. Here's my advent. And um, after that, I will show my purchase. So day nine today. Today's chart is the Festive Pumpkin Cottage, which is by Witchy Stitcher. Right here is the where I'm at so far on the Festive Pumpkin Cottage from Witchy Stitcher. And this one is fun because it's like a mixture of Halloween and Christmas. So the ho house is very Halloween-y. You have ghosts, there are bats, but it's like a Halloween house that's dressed up for Christmas. So you can see that they're wearing Santa hats. There's going to be more ghosts wearing Santa hats. There's a bat here that's going to be wearing a Santa hat. There's also going to be lights on the tree here. And when you get to like the bottom part, there is a snowman, but it's made out of pumpkins, which is really cute. And so it's, yeah, it's cute. And so this is a nice thing to be stitching on for this month because, you know, we're getting close to the holidays and this is a holiday chart. I am stitching this on 28 count fabric from Crossed Wing Collection in the color Deep Sea. Two over two full cross. The next thing that I will show is purchases. I had one purchase yesterday, which is a chart that had been on my favorite list for a while, which is a chart from, what's that's name? I wrote it down. Uh, Kelly Lake Crafts, and it's like a play on the live, laugh, love thing that, you know, has been around for a while. My brother had posted an Instagram story recently where he posted, like, wrote live, laugh, love, and then I sent him this chart, and he thought it was hilarious too, and it says live craft, laugh craft, love craft, and it's about HP Lovecraft, who did, like, a whole horror genre, and his stuff is used now a lot still, so, like, I have this game here that's called Arkham Horror. It's a card game, and you're an investigator solving mysteries, but it's kind of set in the HP Lovecraft world, so it's, like, it's something where his stuff is still around a lot. He created Cthulhu and like so, you know. And I just thought the thing was hilarious and I thought it would be like really fun to have up for Halloween because it's a play on like a sign that a lot of people, you know, had up for a long time. Live, laugh, love. And so I just thought that would be a funny like little Halloween thing to stitch up because I don't have a lot of Halloween stitching completed. I have quite a bit of Christmas stitching done, but not Halloween. So that's something that I'm really trying to work on. And I'm also trying to work on having more smaller projects. And this is pretty small. So I bought it. And it's going to be a tight squeeze. But I have this fabric here, which is from my Christmas mystery box from Kaylee Tentstitch. Um, and her shop is the sewingshop.ca. And I just thought this fabric would be, like, perfect. Because, like, it kind of, to me, looks like more of, like, a Halloween-y type fabric. And the way that the colors like go like down and transition and then at the bottom of the pattern it has like the greeny slime which i think will look really cool in like this darker area and so like it's going to be a really tight fit because i figured it out and i think the pattern because i this is a mystery fabric so i wasn't sure what the count was so first i figured out what the count was which i was getting that the count was about like 17 uh stitches per inch and so I figured out the pattern is going to be like seven by seven and this fabric is nine by nine. So I'm going to have very, very little like edges, but it will be fine because I'll figure out a way to finish it myself and it's just gonna be fine. I just thought this fabric would be perfect for it. So I might start this, we will see, but yeah. So that's my only purchase. I have been trying to avoid purchasing large charts. There is a large chart that I really want from the Cross Stitch Studio. They came out with a set of charts that are called Wizard's Library. They are amazing, and they have two right now. So there's Snape's Library, and there's Trelawney's Library. And they are huge, though. They are 800 by 800. I am trying to avoid stitching them, but I'm also really wanting to see other people stitch them. So if you see anyone else stitching those charts, let me know, because I really want to see them stitched. Like, they look amazing, but I cannot commit to an 800 by 800 stitch chart right now. Anyways, so that's all that I have to show. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with uh, progress on all those charts. I might have a new start. I don't know. Because like I said, it's, it's a tiny, tiny. I could stitch this like in hand, just anywhere. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I hope that everyone is having a good December so far. And I'll be back tomorrow, which is Sunday. I love the weekends. Just loving getting to sleep in. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, though, with my update on day 10. Bye.